everybody. This is Bob Dwyer from the Cadence.com Digital Implementation User Community. I wanted to start today what will hopefully be a series of interactive screencasts demonstrating how to do things in SOC Encounter that are really better shown through an interactive demo than are documented in the text form. So what I wanted to start off with was first, how do I make edits to a group of objects in a design all at once? So we know in SOC Encounter, if we want to make edits to an object, we click on it and we query it with the Q key, its properties. So here we have for the hard macro that I have selected, all of the attributes and then all of their values. So say for example, I wanted to change the placement status of the hard macro I have selected from placed to fixed. I could do that, click OK. And if I queried that property again, I would see that the object was set to fixed. OK, looks good. But what if I wanted to apply that edit to all four of the hard macros in the design? How can I do that? There's a way and I'll show you. First, select all four of the hard macros with the shift key. Okay. After you've done that, query those objects just as you would have if you had a single object selected. Notice that we have four objects selected now. Okay, that's good. You can scroll through each of the four objects with the next key. See that we have that first object here set as fixed. But there's also a way to edit the placement status or any other common attribute across all of the currently selected objects. Down here in the bottom, we see this grayed out apply all button. The first time I saw that, I thought uh, maybe this functionality isn't enabled yet for some reason, or maybe it's not completed. It's been completed for quite a while, and what, it's, what the software is waiting for is for us to tell it which of the attributes we want to edit. Here's the trick. Come over here to an attribute off on the left and click it, and notice that the whole line becomes highlighted in blue. Then if we sw switch the placement status from placed to fixed and click apply all, then we'll see that all four of these objects have a placement status of fixed. And that's how it's done. So this technique can be applied in general to any attribute editor object that is common across a set of objects in the design. I hope this tip was helpful and I hope to talk to you again real soon. Thanks.